Wald is an American attorney, businessman, author, and politician who served as the 60th governor of Massachusetts from 1991 to 1997. He was a 2020 presidential candidate and remains an outspoken advocate for voting rights. Bill, welcome. Thank you, Quinn. And your view, why is it important that people with disabilities vote? Well, I think it's important that everybody vote. And this is actually a big issue in the current uh, presidential campaign in that uh, people like myself are, are trying to maximize the vote by having vote uh, by mail campaigns, uh, make sure that people can get absentee ballots. Uh, I was even in favor of uh, uh, mobile voting, which would allow people to vote with their cell phones. You know, I was, I was in the presidential primary in New Hampshire against Mr. Trump, and I, I was wild to have more millennial vo millennials vote, because I think only 50% of uh, millennials voted in the last cycle. Same goes for uh, uh, communities of disability. I think I saw a stat that 41% didn't vote or did vote. Uh, that compares favorably to millennials as a whole. What do you see as the biggest barriers to voting for people with disabilities? Uh, if, if you prepare in advance to make sure you get an absentee ballot, then you have time to study and you may need a little bit of help accumulating all the voter guides uh, and information about the candidates that you need to cast a well-informed uh, ballot. Uh, you may need to take, uh, if you have to vote in person, you may need to take extra long to get there. Uh, one of my great colleagues in government uh, was a guy named Mike DeLand, who's uh, not, uh, he wasn't learning disabled. He has a physical uh, disability with his legs, even though he was a champion sailor, but he was always in a wheelchair. He was never late for a meeting. He just took longer to get there. And it may be taking longer to get to the the polling place, but but I think uh, it's more, you know, and, and you've got to make sure everything is ADA accessible if you have a physical uh, disability. But uh, for the LDA community, um, it's just uh, it's just being prepared. You know, if you have some some help to make sure that uh, uh, you're not constricted for time, so you have ability to go over all the materials in advance mark your ballot and uh, you know without any security issues there should be no obstacle for the LDA community and that would be terrific uh, for the country if, if you could get that percentage way up because that's a that's a very big community. Yeah so if, if all those people voted alone I mean that could change an entire outcome of a yeah. presidential yeah. election. What would you say to young and first-time voters with disabilities to encourage them to go and vote? Well, I would say they could tip the outcome. It's exactly the voters that we're looking for when we seek to maximize voter participation. And, you know, when I seek to uh, maximize voter participation, I'm looking for anybody. No R, no D, no L next to who I'm looking for. Uh, I am looking for people who historically have been uh, voted at relatively low percentages simply because you know, they've been targets of voter suppression. Uh, they're blacks in the South, maybe, uh, or in the North. They've been uh, Latinos being uh, discriminated against under the Trump anti-immigrant uh, uh, priority. And you've got to try extra hard there. But uh, to the extent that those people get out and vote, uh, you're more likely to see a result that I think would promote unity in the country instead of division in the country. So, um, what do you think is next for Bill Weld? So, uh, I, I think I'm going to continue to be active on issues. You know, I I, I want to I want to try to get uh, the LDA community to vote uh, at a much higher percentage than it has in the past. Uh, same for communities of color, immigrant communities, uh, and that can be decisive. If they could vote in greater percentages than they did before, that would be outcome determinative in the election. That's my goal. Billy, thank you so much, and I wish you the best of luck thank with you, your Quinn. You're, you're a hero, and I've known you your whole life, and I, I've seen what the power of work can do, because you work like a steer, and uh, you've bloomed and blossomed. So <laughs> congratulations. Thank you so much. I really appreciate uh, your time, uh, as always, and I uh, wish all the best of luck to you. Great.